Wait, what? If you follow him, he may lead you to the goblin tr treasure hoard of legend. Okay. I will do so. I gained food! I think I might have gained the one food. The goblin turns to see you still in pursuit. He shouts in exploration, Leave me be, meddling human. The mournful blare of his horn echoes through the forest. Another portal yawns before you, the goblin nowhere in sight. Jump in the portal again. This time I might actually have to follow a goblin. I wonder if I could just follow him with my eyes and then just peruse around searching chests and food chests. But I get the feeling that this time I actually do have to follow him. Again, I don't see any goblin. The fuck is the deal? Oh god. Ooh, hello. Oh, that was close. Oh, shit. Oh, I see. Oh, the traps are really simple to dodge. I didn't realize they were that easy. Not at all. God, I feel like an idiot. No, for some reason I thought as soon as you stood on them, they, they popped up. That ain't the case. Because funnily enough, I would say that's not how a bear trap operates, but what do I know? Up. I get the feeling we are, like, timed on this thing. I'm not sure, though. Either way, I made it. But I still don't see no goblin. Am I seriously going to have to go through, like, four of, these four of these encounters to find the bloody thing? It's a shame it's not giving me any, um, fate. Fate, fate shards. I'm only 12 away, so I should be able to get them quite easily. I think so. Find yourself down in a pile of leaves, being shaken awake by Malaclip's slightly days, you hear the jangle of coins in the distance. Are you fucking serious, dude? Now where? Okay, I can go straight to this one, too. It's not using up any more of my food, so it's fine. You catch up the goblin just as he leaps into another pole. His face contorts in, into a look of irritated disbelief as your eyes meet. Follow him. Oh my god. It's called follow the goblin, so if you didn't follow the goblin, you're not following the card. I mean, you've got to do what the card says. Caravan robbery. You've got to rob a caravan. If you don't, again, you're not staying true to the card. What the fuck, I'm faced weirdly. God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh god, that was almost terrible. Well, there we go, that gets me too. Ooh. Right, I've gotten hit quite a bit already. It's fine, I think. Oh, these are fucking perfect. Ding ding, bitches. Hell yeah. Probably shouldn't go this way, but I want the food. It calls to me. Fire. And it gives... Ah, fuck. I didn't think that would hit me. What a lot of shit. God. Yee. I don't want to roll onto a saw. Blade. There we go. Perfect. Not doing too shabby. I got everything. Fucking da da damn right. Am I seriously... If I'm going to have to follow another goblin... I mean, it's a good opportunity of getting a lot of shit. I am not going to lie. It's a good opportunity to get... Gold food. Sometimes health. It's the red chests that give you health. But, God knows. The portal deposits you directly in the path of an, an, of an oblivious Malaclips, bowling him over. As you pick yourself up off the ground, you spy the elusive goblin escaping over a hill. You, my God, seriously, dude. I really have to do this so many times. Oh, I have to actually go through different encounters. I've got more food, though. So I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. Do I better not be a hunger. Ah, fuck yourself. Alright, fuck yourself. Please, only take two. Six. Great. Thanks. Oi, oi, oi. I give the food. I guess. Don't really get much fucking choice. There's food... Ah, oh, food sales refreshed. Fucking grand. There's still only four remaining, but whatever, I can buy it all. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, boy. Good. Very good. Finish. And break the camp. Let's go. Good luck taking this token from me. Indeed, dude. Like, seriously, what the hell are you playing at? 
Panting the goblin blows his horn, producing a weak wheeze. Curse you, leave me be. Wearily, he hefts his gold sack into the bottle before tumbling after. Follow! This might be the last time he sounds out of breath. We're wearing him out, poor fellow. Hmm. Do do boo do boo do do. Oh fuck. Woo. Okay. I'm look I'm like I'm looking around for different chests. Yeah. Ah fuck. How does that hit me? Bullshit. What was that? That should not hit me. There you go. Very nice. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's no chest here. Fuck. I thought there was. Do they? Go round. Perfect. I made it! Sweet. I can't, I'm just strolling on over to the door. Not in, oh, not in any sort of hurry. Just, just strolling. When you emerge from the portal, you find yourself in a luxurious sitting room. Green lanterns cast uneasy shadows on the walls, lying exhausted on a woven rug in the center of the room is the goblin. He sighs at your appearance. Ooh. My, you are persistent, and offer you some Merc tea if you hadn't pursued me relentlessly and barged on welcome into my home. Where am I? His face cracks into a mis mischievous grin. You are in Goblin Town, human, where the sky is made of stone and the roast lizard is the best in the empire. He gestures at the window and your jaw drops. The sky is indeed made of stone. The city waiting beyond has been carved into a vast cavern. The street below is, a ho is host to a market lit by the uneasy green lanterns. Goblins and hooded figures per peruse the wares, giving wide berths to giant rodent-like beasts, rodent -like beasts of burden. You swear you see a lone empress empire soldier before she disappears into the crowd. Okay, demand gold. He tips the sack of, tips the sack of gold towards you. The fo goblin's face crinkles sadly. Take it. Twenty. Oh my god, it was thirty gold. Holy shit! No, it was forty-five. Nope, it was fifty-five. Wow. As you grab hold of the sack, he blows his horn, opening a portal at your feet. Next time you want to reach Goblin Town, consider using a more con conventional entrance. He gives a half-hearted wave. Hey, we oh, did it! Well in fucking no doubt. The goblin's sitting room fades from view and you find yourself back in the forest. Finally, I got it. Yay. I want to buy some shit. Wait. Oh god, I need a star to be fair. Oh yeah, I can sell the golden shield. Sweet. More money! 200! Okay, so fucking much. Break camp. I have six food, at least. Fate's whim. What's this one? Oh yeah, the four encounters. That's right. Here we see yet another wheel, each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. Lady of the Lake. I don't know what this is going to give me, but we're going to see. I work since I had... Yeah, okay, yeah. Old spirits dwell in these waters, and old power they offer. Give me health. Still, I would not trust their terms if I were you. Great. The Lady of the Lake calls you to her shores. Scotch bled? Yes. The waves of Lake Nivian crash upon the rocks that surround it. Oh, she just gave me a sword. Fucking damn straight. It's a good one too. A magician in these lands. A brave decision, and one I hope keeps him in good health. He went to the workshop of the Enchanter. He specializes in adding magical powers to items, especially those that bring health and fortune to adventurers. I can enchant one of your items, be warned, any existing enchantment will be destroyed. Oh, notable equipment. The enchanter states that he has no nothing suitable for you at this time. You leave. Right. Well, he didn't have any token around, so it's fine. Yvette's cottage. Another one will greet you at the door to Yvonne's cottage. She curtly introduces herself as Yvonne's sister, Yvette. Yvonne and her baby are nowhere in sight. She too offers you a beef pie and potato, sprinkling some sunsheen flour over it bring out, brings out the flavor, you know? You bite into the pie, the seeds of the sunsheen burst sweetly into your mouth as you chew, then you see it, your hands wrinkling before your eyes. Brill bones. Oh god. Great. 
If it lasts full, that will teach you to befriend my awful sister. Before you can do anything, she pushes you from the cottage and locks the door. You see the sign in front of the waterfall. Waterfall of youth, very dangerous. Take. Oh god. Fuck. As you cup the clear waters of the river, that a stone strikes your temple. Great. Oh god, I take two. Bollocks. You tend to see a vet pelt another from the cottage window. Get out of here, Urchin. This is my land, you know. You hurry away as fast as your old bones will carry you. Fuck, dude. I'm losing my health. So badly. Wheel of Greed. I have lots of money. So, yeah. Throw whatever you want at me. It's fine. Hell yeah. Go on, take. Take 20. That's fine. Yeah, I don't need it. Yeah. Got 219 gold. You put me at a very nice round 199. Give in the greed and the fate will reward you. Get four gold shard. Four gold. Four fate shards. Fate steps. Climb the steps. Fuck. We've already given him a shit ton of stuff. What is that? Oh, it's a shard of stuff. In it. It's the corruption shard thingy. Bollocks. I didn't really want to give him that, but alright. That's a bit of a pain. Captain of Steel. Lovely. You should have taken your time. I can't take my time when it's a wheel that spins. I'm sorry, but I just can't. It's not something that's possible, sadly. Alright. A fate's favour. Oh god, it's this one. Well, I'm fucked. Ah! Knew it. Great. Please take uh, foods refreshed. Oh, thank Christ. There are four remaining. Good stuff. Very, very happy. What would I have gained from the fate one? Would it have been five? I'm really close. Break. Fate to win. It's this one again. Cool. Uh, whoosh. Oh fuck, not a vet's cottage again. She's gonna give me a curse. No, no, redraw. Fuck that bitch. I don't know what this one is. Caravan, oh it's caravan robbery. Oh yeah, sure, I'll do that. Again. We've already read this, so I don't need to read again. Man is bound with spells that allow us to travel without arousing the attention of such as these. So, go from food. Got it. Booyah! I wouldn't mind getting the 20 life. Amidst the chaos, you find the wagon that Merrick has de had described. As a cartographer attempts to temper the horses, you sneak aboard and rifle through his papers and parchments, tucked under a bottle of ale and a glittering silver ornament, you find it, the map of the Great Sands. Raid another. This is a bad idea. I'm probably gonna lose my token now. Probably. Oh, perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. As well, just a health token. Token? Health potion. That should help. Leave. That's all I needed. You find Merrick waiting where you left him, his eyes grow wide at the sight of the map. And with a flourish, it disappears beneath his cloak. Tell no one of this, he says with a smile. Meet me at the edge of the sands in three nights' time. We got the token. Ta-da! I've gotten two tokens. Oh yeah, the follow of the goblin. So we got goblin town. Helpful priest. Are running low. Oh yes! Your choices carefully. You meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. Are you hungry? Yes. I gain three food and fame. Truly the gods smile upon our meeting here this day, the priest says, as he takes your gold. Fucking grand. General store. I will buy more food. The heck? Buy food. I will buy ten. I really hope I get a chance to get more fate shards, because fuck. I'm really getting low. I'm gonna literally buy this guy out of food. And we did. And now I don't need to worry about it. I probably bought way more food than I need, but I mean, who cares? I also have enough to buy whatever I want. What am I I'm using the Scorched Blade, aren't I? I'll use the Imperial Armor. Increases my max, max life. Sure. Why not? Sweet. You and the barbet. Their garb, but hopefully not their ideas. Obviously not, you si silly goose. And the barbet. Oh, yeah, equip. Oh, well, bollocks. That may help you on the road ahead. This one has a token. Oh, it does actually tell you how to unlock the token. Oh, I'm just really dumb. Okay, you just have to inspect it. Oh, I don't care then. I can't upgrade it at a blacksmith, so there's that. I don't need to... Mm, actually, I could buy healing. Yeah, I'll buy 20. 
And I'll buy ten, actually. I'll buy both. Thank you. Good day. And leave. Get out of there. Get out of his sight. Wheel of Rage. Perfect. Uh, maybe not. Perfect. Fuck, depends what I go against. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, purr. That is perfect. Anarchists. Fucking easy. Actually, to be fair, there's two more levels to this. Oh god, I did say it fucking easy. Depends how fast- oh. That was close. I almost only got 90 seconds, as opposed to two minutes. Alright. Let us bash this one out. And I bet I do pretty good. It's only against anarchists, and the only- the only downside to the anarchists is the fact that after you hit them three times, they retaliate by breathing fire. And also the fact they do area of effect attacks, but it's not really a big deal. This is a cool looking blade. Scotch blade, the Inquisition torched Equa for black magic before burning him at the stake. His sword survived, and some say he still dwells within. Cool. Oh god. So I have to hit them ten bloody times? God. No, 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 no. Ten times before I'm able to do anything. Oh, do me special. Yeah! Oh, that was cool. Very fancy. Almost rolled into the fire. There we go. Duh. Duh. Oh, he's almost dead. Come on, finish him. Finish him! Oh, stop breathing fire. Oh man, I wanted to do the special. Whatever. We got him! Not too shabby. That will probably only give me four, won't it? I bet. And then I'll be at 49, like a fucking lemon. Morton's Magic Door. Optionally, move directionally to the left level exit after any encounter when you gained a life pain card. Got five food. Four fucking shards. Oh, you are a bellend. Oh, there we go. Thing agreed. Shit. I have 38 gold. I've got... I'm fine. I've done it. Hey, hey, hey. That's two. Two that we did. Because I managed to quite literally blast through the hermit. And I am actually really surprised at how quickly the hermit went by. Give in to greed. Yep, done. I got 53 fate shards. Wait, what? That's Tosh's. Yeah, I've gotten the, the shards. Defeat the Black Knight. Free the Knight Prison. Wait, I actually have to climb up the stairs. Really? You have far more pride than oh, I don't have to climb the stairs. Did, but no. You reach far further than he did. Curious. A noxious smell alerts you to an oncoming group of Toshes, led by a short, stumpy woman with an eye patch. Eye patch Eve, they call her. And although they dress in greasy drabs, her fingers are adorned with exquisite rings and their pockets are deep with gold. Look at this princess. I bet they've never done a day's dirty work. She sniggers. What do you fancy? Ecking out a bit of coin. Tides are coming. Better get in there quick, princess, says I've patch Eve. As one of her consorts lifts the lid off a manhole. As you and the Toshers come splashing down and your boots soak up the mud, you feel something at the bottom of the putrid subterranean river. It's jousting arm. Wow. Complete strength. Oh. Really? So complete the strength challenge with the jousting armor. Interesting. Huh. Sure. I will equip it as well. You plunge your hand into the rancid water to pull it out. Now, oh, balls, I have to do one of these. Back well, I got a ten. I hope you have learned to be their master. Probably not. Hey, I did. Good. A win here sets the tone for your challenge. You fish out the trinket, doubtful it's worth such torment. It's jousting armor, it's Terrible incredible. Yes. On horseback. Oh no, I lost but 20 life. Make your own choices. The sewer walls tremble, time to resurface, she's out, she shouts, as tosh the Toshers lift themselves out of the gutter. What I should probably do is not have the the armor, actually. I mean, the Imperial armor is better because it gives me health. Downside is it does not heal me either. Okay. You, they pull out, pull you out just as the tunnel floods. Good. And that's the stairs. Hey, the healer! That'll work. Hang on a minute, I'm just going back. Yep. Healing in a place like this always carries. I can buy food? Ice. Tell me, Wanderer, what is it you seek? This. Heal eight. No. 
Oh, wait, no. Yeah, that is. Heal 8 life for 5 gold. 20 for f for 10. I cannot talk. Buy food. I don't know why I bothered. I don't need food. Buy information. I can ask the whispers of their travels. She explains. They speak of many tales. Some of daring. Some of adventure. Some of things yet to pass. She holds out her withered palm for a donation. I can share their tale. This probably reveals the map. Indeed it does. One drunken knight. That could be good. Although I am very low on funds. Well, running low on funds. I'm curious about this one, though. You feel cold stone against your cheek. Head pounding, you open your bleary eyes. The unmistakable scrape of metal wakes you fully from your slumber, and you slowly take stock of your surroundings. Oh, no. I didn't realize it was going to be one I actually have to interact with. So I'm in, like, a dungeon. Trap dungeon. Sex dungeon. Ooh. I'm in some sort of dungeon. That's all I know. Ay 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 ay. It's just a matter of escape. Without getting burnt alive. Well, I mean, I've succeeded in not getting burnt alive. My character looks ridiculous with this fucking helmet. He really does look like a lemon. Oh, God, Jesus. I don't know why that scared me, but it did. Yeah! Fuck. Hang on a minute. I'm going for gold! Ah! Yeah, just keep on sprinting. Oh man, look at this. I'm doing fucking grand. Shite. Ugh. Okay. Close. I don't need uh, food. It's fine. Made it. I took eight health. I can actually buy that. I can buy the health back from the healer with the money I found. Or I could camp and eat the food and gain health that way, but whatever. Either way. You follow the stairs upward until you emerge in the forest, the morning sun burning your eyes. You fumble in your haver sack for something to eat, happily you find a half-eaten uh, pastry, pasty, and f try to find your way out of the woods. Ah, there we go. Cool, I can go back. No, I can't. I thought I could. Well, shit. Yeah, I'll be fine. Da-da-da! All that you have sown, now death comes for you in a score of forms. Fate's finale. I guess. Da da da. So the golden stairs give way to solid stone, and you find yourself face to face with the Black Knight. You are on a mountain top, cloaked in a silver fog. Iowa Harrow and uh, Gariel materialize beside you and smile. You have pierced the veil, and so the Black Knight comes to defend his realm. Defeat him and free us, champion. Fate has provided the Black Knight with more pr protection. Six of Blight, is that it? Oh no, it's got two. The Captain of Steel, too. Fuck. Harrow speaks. Fate has chosen pieces for both sides of the board. We shall see if you can overcome the obstacles placed before you. For all our sakes, I hope you are victorious. I do, too. Actually, I don't, I don't really know why. I just, I just kind of hope I win. Yeah. Ha! <sighs> Damn. Oh, this was a cool challenge, though. I enjoyed it. Well, I'm saying that as if I've won, and I most certainly haven't. And there is definitely a chance that I will get my ass handed to me. We have a Captain of Steel, which is an armoured dude. And we also have the... Oh, uh, the Blight, yeah. The Black Knight. Is he a skeleton? The protector of prisoners being held beyond this mortal realm, a mighty foe in mighty armour that must be bashed off before he can be killed. I don't know why I kind of stood. Oh, fuck me, really. Already. Great. Can I just kill these? Oh wait, there we go. Ja I What the heck happened? Get out of here. Man, I do forget, I have to bash. Oh god. Captain of Steel's also a pain in the ass. Ouch. Oh, I can't fucking... Oh, man. Was not paying attention because I got hit. I lost my count... Not counter. Well, yeah, my counter. For stuff. I've also realised that Malaclips is dead. I fucking reposted. Oh, that's the captain. I'm getting hurt regardless. I'm confused. Oh, 
fuck? Ay ay ay. This could be way worse. I will admit, this could be way worse. Hey! <laughs> there. I hit him with summit. Yeah, 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 there we go. How does that hurt me? It shouldn't. I'm doing a finisher. You fool. Great, that was good. Fuck. Oh. Yeah, we're fast. Bitches. Can this guy just die already? Alright, now we just need to bash away. I didn't want to roll, but whatever, it happened. Fuck! He has so much armor! My god! Thank you! No one can be less cautious and more carefree. Even though I've forgotten to hit a shit ton on this. It was all the... it was the captain! He's a pain in the ass. Oh, I've, I've just realized I was bashing him and doing nothing but bashing him. He ain't a skeleton! Oh, he's actually a person. I thought he was a skelly. Oh well. No worries. Uh oh! I'm literally kicking his ass. Woo! This scotch blade is pretty nice. I like it. Boo boo! Oh, we got him. I didn't actually have to finish him off. I'm pretty sure that's my character model, but a bit buffer. Alright, well we did it. I would say not surprisingly, but I was kind of worried toward, towards the end of this level. I mean, there was another flight of stairs I could have gone up if I didn't have the fate shards, but still. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy it worked out the way it did. The silver clouds disperse around you as the Black Knight's body falls lifelessly onto the floor. Uh, Gariel greets you warmly. You have freed us from a, a prison we thought eternal. Our gratitude shall be endless warrior of fate. I can see why he's watching you, Iowa says with a smile. While he is watching you, Harrow says grimly, we shall be plotting our revenge. The three siblings disappear in a cloud of grey and gold. Overcome with exhaustion, you look around for a comfortable place to make camp. You're surprised to see your bedroll already laid out beside a campfire burning low. You gaze up at the night sky briefly before falling into a deep and an untroubled sleep. Ta-da-da! Nice. So we did the wheel! Begins to turn in your favor. For freeing the watchers of the wave. You are here. Yeah, for freeing the watchers of the wave, of the weave, we got Nazgar's Reckoning, the Wind's Return, their weapons, wow, the Band of Faith, and Kubarik's Gears. For defeating the Black Knight, as well as I've been adding to, a buckler. For freeing the watchers of the weave, we got Grimalkin, Fate's Dealing, Cunning Man, Purgatory. Oh yeah, and then this is for gathering the 50 shards, for proving yourself a worthy opponent of Fate, we got Forgotten Dreams. And of course we got two encounters. Encounters. For following the goblin all the way to Goblin Town, we unlocked Goblin Town. And of course, I can't remember what this one was. For raiding the caravan, we got the Desert Trek. Not too shabby. Wow, I can't believe it. We managed to do two of them. And of course, one took 20 minutes, one took an hour. That's just the, an hour and six minutes. How? And here, true magic begins. Wait, towards the end? Opened, and now, we must merely pass through them. How is it? No, we're not near the end at all. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck, I should count from this end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we've done eleven. We're halfway there. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh. So there's three more that'll unlock, and that will be all of them. Ah! Three more! To unlock. There's eleven left to finish. I think. Yeah, eleven left. I did two in the session though, which is surprising. I didn't expect- as I say, I did not expect to finish the Hermit in 20 minutes. That was the most surprising. But it was one that was worrying me, because I was like, crap, I only have 40 days. If I fuck around with encounters, they, I might run into one of the, the ones that's like- I can't remember what it's called, not catch up but th that one and I was just worried about that so I was like I'll just continue on and just try and get to the hermit as quick as possible so yeah that happened anyway that was going to be the end of the session thank you so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed and until next time take care